A man that wants you will come after you. A man that wants to be with you will be with you. If he's not being with you, he doesn't want to be with you. Hello, hello, and hello, and welcome to Coffee and Coaching. I am your coach, Coach Michelle Monet, your certified life and relationship coach. And here at Coffee and Coaching, we stimulate conversations to energize relationships. And we do that by answering questions that have been either posed to me through email on a platform that I am in or even through DM. OK, so we answer those questions. I talk about uh, what I how I answer them and then I elaborate. So but before we move into that, we want to talk about what is today's coffee. Today's coffee is a vanilla bean and it is by Hamilton Hamilton's Mule. And it is a uh, it is a naturally flavored coffee. Y'all know how I am about this naturally flavored man. I get excited about finding some naturally flavored coffee. I think that that is such a, a, a good thing to do. So it tastes really good. It's really bold. Um, I taste the vanilla in it. it tastes really. Um, for lack of better terms, fresh vanilla, if that makes sense for you. But it's really good. So thank you so much for about that. It's really good. So yeah. All right, so let's get into today's question. But before we do that, please make sure that you like commenting and sharing. Why? Because sharing is caring. I keep saying that and I'm gonna keep saying it. Just click share if you're watching this right now and forget about it, right? Make sure that you're liking it. Make sure that you're commenting. Tell me what you would do in these particular situations. I would love to hear that. So let's get into today's question. It says, me and my ex ended up meeting up like two months after our breakup, and we saw we still love each other. He doesn't want to consider us again because I had meaningless sex with another guy when we weren't together. He was with another girl too. Why? This is how I answered her. Men are territorial. They don't want any other man sniffing around what they believe, believe belongs to them even though he was with another girl. If you all hooked up and then he told you he was done, that is because he was reclaiming what's his. In sense terms, he was reclaiming his ego and his pride. Men don't ever want to imagine that someone came in the midst of y'all breaking up and the new guy made you feel better than he did. Clues to this would be him asking you to confirm this during the last time you were intimate this puts him back on top of the game, pun intended. The ball is back in his court now, but it doesn't have to be. You can take back the control by not attempting to get him back, not expressing how much you love him or how you don't understand what happened. In other words, walk away. You never want to try to attempt to convince someone else the value of your worth and what you bring to the table. Either he already knows that and you're not as valuable to him, or he doesn't know it because he hasn't taken the invested time to see that value. Either way, after dating and giving yourself to him, if he doesn't see it, unfortunately, he won't. The main thing here is that you must see that value and be brutally honest with yourself. Is he really worth you giving up pieces of yourself to make him see you? Well, I don't even know you but I'm still going to answer for you. No, he is not. I don't care how good a person is. You come first. And if he doesn't want you, don't want him back. It's just that simple. Not an action because that takes work, but in your mind, your body, and your spirit, because once you put those three under notice, the universe will help you put in the work. I hope that this helps. You know, we get, especially women, women tend to, we hold on to relationships because we're trying to put the, we're trying to see the benefit of the doubt, uh, see if it's going to work out uh, the way that we want it to, if he just understands, or if I can just figure out what this is or why I don't understand. We ask all these whys. We, we think about the woulda, coulda, shouldas. We go through this whole process when men have decided when they have decided and they're not giving you them, then they're deciding that they're not going to give you them. A man that wants you 
will come after you. A man that wants to be with you will be with you. If he's not being with you, he doesn't want to be with you. That's really a sad place to be sometimes, but it's a reality that you that sometimes you may, we may have to look up and look at into because it will clear our minds. It will help us to be um, we uh, live in reality and not live in this fictitious place where one day he's going to come around. So I hope that this helps someone. Please like, comment, and share. Keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it, right? Make sure that you're sharing. Meet me over at YouTube. I'm trying to get 100 likes. Subscribe to my channel over there because I am trying to get 100 likes. Share this so that somebody that you know can then subscribe and then hit that bell so that you can get any of the videos that I drop. I drop these videos every single day on Facebook Live, and then I drop them in Instagram, and then I take them to YouTube. So, but I drop a brand new video that nobody's seeing that premieres every Friday morning at 6 a.m. Please go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so that you can make sure that you are uh, getting all the videos that I do drop just in case you're in one place or another. So I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Go out and love someone, get you some real good coffee and give someone a hug today. I love y'all for real, for real. Bye.